The first-generation CHR Hybrid was one of the only hybrid small SUVs you could buy when it launched in late 2019, but in 2024, you are spoiled for choice. There's the Nissan Qashqai e-Power and its unique setup, the second-generation Kona now available with a hybrid, and the Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross plug-in, not to mention this car's Toyota Corolla Cross Hybrid Stablemate. So, this second-generation CHR enters a very different market, it still turns heads, but is this hybrid crossover SUV worth it over its rivals? By the end of this review, you'll find out the big news with the new generation CHR is that the petrol engine option is gone. That's right, the 2024 Toyota CHR is now available as a hybrid only. And, as such, prices are up over the outgoing car by quite a bit actually, now kicking off at $42,990 before on-road costs, the new GXL is $11,275 pricier than the previous point of entry, but to be fair, the outgoing model was offered only with an 85 kilowatts per 185 Nm 1.2 litre turbo petrol engine. As for the Cobra, pricing now starts at $49,990, also up by more than $11,000 compared to before. However, the top spec GR Sport sees the biggest jump, increasing around $16,500 to $54,990, putting it well and truly into hot hatch territory, an affordable Toyota hybrid the 2024 CHR is not, to put it into perspective, the Honda HRV e HEV can be had for $47,000 drive away, putting it around the same price as the range opening CHR GXL. But the former is fitted with more upmarket features, likewise, the cost of entry to a Hyundai Kona hybrid starts at just $36,000 before on-road costs and extends to $46,500, while the fully loaded and much more practical Nissan Qashqai TE Power is $51,590, however, it might be the Corolla Cross that gives the CHR the most trouble. With prices ranging from $36,480 to $50,030, it's an easier sell because it feels more substantial and has a broader appeal. To be fair, the CHR is attention-grabbing thanks to its hammerhead front lighting signature, flat nose, low roof line, and chiseled derriere. Fun fact, it is also the first Toyota model with flush-fitting door handles. For the money, standard equipment includes 17-inch alloy wheels, sports seats, a 7.0-inch driver's display, 12.3-inch infotainment system, six-speaker sound system, keyless entry push-button start, and a bevy of safety systems, more details below. Dot, stepping up to the Cobra. Nets you 19-inch alloys, bi-LED headlights, heated front seats, suede interior highlights, a head-up display, 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster, 9-speaker JBL sound system, wireless smartphone charger, and a powered tailgate. As for the GR Sport, it scores a more potent powertrain, and there are also upgraded brakes, a heated steering wheel, GR floor mats and steering wheel, and aluminium scuff plates. Three options are available to CHR buyers, a $775 two-tone premium paint finish, a $1,550 two-tone plus premium paint finish, and a $2,700 two-tone plus premium paint finish with panoramic roof. Does that sound like an equipment list to justify a new enough $50,000 and beyond small SUV? Not to me, you can now get full battery electric vehicles or full fat hot hatches for less money than the new CHR, so you'd have to really love the styling to opt for Toyota's new small SUV over other models in the market. At least the cabin of the CHR is a pleasant enough space to be. It is a Toyota after all, so there is an abundance of hard and scratchy albeit hard-wearing plastics all around, but I like how cocooned the driver feels in here thanks to sweeping door cards that draw your attention forward. The touch points are also nice, with leather found on the steering wheel and shifter, and everything is laid out ergonomically and intuitively. It's always nice to see buttons for climate controls in. 2024, and the CHR has a dual-zone setup, while the infotainment system is large and easy to navigate, the GR Sport flagship also gets a smattering of racier bits in the cabin, including red accenting. Branded steering wheel and aluminium scuff plates, storage options are plentiful, though not all that practical. You can get a large bottle in the door pockets, there's a shallow tray for your smartphone and wallet, two cup holders, and a small underarm storage cubby. You'll be able to empty your pockets in the CHR, but it won't accommodate much else in the front row. In the second row, though, space is a little lackluster. Sitting behind my driving position, I find it hard to get comfortable as there isn't a lot of leg and head room available for my 6 foot tall, 183 centimeters frame. In fact, if I sit back and upright, my head will foul the roof. I imagine children and smaller adults will be able to fit comfortably. But it is snug. It's also just quite sparse in the second row. 
There's no fold down center armrest, there are no events, there's only one backseat map pocket, and there's no door pocket, just a shallow cup holder and storage tray built into the door cards, and only in mid-spec Cobra and flagship GR Sport grades do you get a single USB-C charging port for second row passengers, the funky design comes at a cost, and it is the CHR's practicality. Opening the boot of the front-wheel drive CHR variants reveals a cavity capable of swallowing 388 liters of volume, compared to 318L and the CHR of old, you'll still be able to fit groceries, small luggage cases and the like, but for families with a pram, you'll be better off looking at something like a Hyundai Kona or Nissan Qashqai, the top-spec GR Sport also has a smaller boot because of the second electric motor driving the rear axle, dropping capacity down to 362L, fold the rear seats down and that space swells to 1155L in the GXL and Cobra, and 1134L in the GR Sport, making the trip to IKEA or Bunnings a possibility. But rear boot space is not this model's forte, all versions of the 2024 Toyota CHR are fitted with a 12.3-inch multimedia touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto functionality. However, the former can be connected wirelessly, whereas the latter requires a cable for owners who don't want to use the smartphone mirroring feature. There is also built-in satellite navigation across the new CHR range, as well as digital radio, the large, widescreen display looks crisp and feels snappy when jumping around the different functions, the Japanese brand also offers a My Toyota Connect smartphone app with 12 months of complimentary access to Connect and Multimedia Connect for all new CHR buyers. The My Toyota Connect app allows access to an online service booking tool, CHR instruction manuals, recall notices, and Apple. Service station discounts. However, remote vehicle status monitoring, remote climate control adjustment, and a vehicle locator are walled behind the Connect service, which will cost customers $9.95 per month after the initial 12-month period. The Multimedia Connect functionality is another $12.50 per month after the complimentary period ends and allows users to set up multiple infotainment profiles. And pushing car satellite navigation to smartphones for last mile directions, the 2024 Toyota CHR is yet to be tested by ANCAP or Euro and CAP, and therefore does not have an official crash test safety rating, for what it's worth, Toyota has traditionally performed well in crash testing and fits a lot of required safety equipment as standard for a 5-star score. Despite not having a crash test score, the 2024 CHR is fitted with a long list of safety equipment that bodes well if, or when, it is examined by ANCAP. Each grade comes with Toyota's Safety Sense suite that bundles autonomous emergency braking AEB, with pedestrian and cyclist detection, intersection collision avoidance, emergency steering assist, adaptive cruise control, traffic sign recognition, lane trace assist, lane departure warning, and automatic high beams, other standard active. Safety systems include a driver attention monitor, blind spot monitoring, safe exit assist, rear cross-traffic alert, semi-autonomous parking, a surround view monitor, and front and rear parking sensors. Stepping up to the Cobra and GR Sport adds adaptive high beams, all new CHRs are fitted with 10 airbags, 